Welcome CRM crew, my name is Nick and in today's quick tutorial I'm going to be explaining how to use forecasting in HubSpot CRM. So once you log into HubSpot CRM of course you will come to the home screen. Now in this video I'm going to be discussing forecasting which is sales forecasting and how we can go about setting the forecasting up inside of our system. So firstly what you want to do is go to your sales tab up the top here, use the drop down menu and then go to forecast. And this is obviously how you can track, like it says here, your team's progress toward their sales goals and you can forecast their sales goals accordingly. So in order to do so, just press the get started button and we can go ahead and start tracking our sales forecast. So firstly, we can set up our, uh, our forecast process and what is the main pipeline you want to use for our forecast. So if you've got multiple pipelines, you can go ahead and select which one for this particular forecast. And then you can also select what time period you would like to forecast in on a monthly or a quarterly basis. Now I prefer quarterly, but again, that is entirely up to you and how you want to operate your business. Once you've done that, press the next button and we can go ahead and select our forecast categories. So your forecast categories um, are tool uh, which group deal stages based on a likelihood to close. So as you can see here, we can give them different names. So Deals that are not forecasted are set as not forecasted. Deals that have a low chance of closing, we can give a name, low chance. Um, deals that have a medium chance of closing, best case, you've got deals that have a high chance of closing, commit, and then deals that have won, as you can see. So it's very obvious, very easy. You can give these funny names, uh, that's always a bit of fun, always a good laugh. <laughs> and then once you've done that, just press the next button. So these are just your categories and obviously the sales are gonna be based into the categories. So press the next button from there and then we can review our deal category grouping. So your deal stages for type lines using forecasting are now automatically assigned to forecast categories, which will update automatically as the deal progresses. And as you can see here, close loss qualified to buy. So like we set up our forecast category, we've got our deal stages. So we can, these deal stages have been assigned to the deal stages. So if this, if this particular sale is qualified to buy, then it's gonna be in the forecast category low chance. If the deal stage is decision maker bought in, then it's gonna be in the commit forecast category, which is obviously is a good forecast category to be in. That's where we want, realistically, we want them in closed one, but we'll take commit. And then finally, once you've done that, just press save and continue. And then nice, your pipeline is almost ready. In a few minutes, you'll be able to view a forecast for any users who have a sales seat and deals assigned to them. So press that, continue to forecast. And congratulations, you created your first sales forecast. As you can see here, your deal stages for pipelines are now automatically assigned to categories. And then just press the continue button. And you can go ahead and see forecasted deals at glance, add a forecast amount, etc. And I'm going to get rid of that. So if we go ahead, this is the first forecast. If I press the view button, you can see here that this is going to be our forecast. Forecast category, three categories selected low chance, best chance, commit, close one, and not forecasted. As you can see, the forecast pipeline is almost ready. Please check back in a few minutes. So it's not quite ready yet. The system is still processing it. So now that this uh, the forecast has been processed, we can go ahead, move on to this particular forecast. We can see the sales, the people, and the filters, and we can go ahead on the left-hand side and select the filters accordingly. And then we can also select the, well, we can actually see the amounts. So we've got low chance zero, zero, zero. And that is just because I haven't got any active sales in this HubSpot system. But this is how you would see the forecasts. Um, again, like I said, a great tool. So you can make changes accordingly. We've got our teams here, which is a team I created earlier. And we've also got the individuals as well. So hopefully that has given you a clear idea on how to do your forecasting. Like I said, you'll have the teams here and we've set up all the different chances, a so low chance, best case, and you can see your teams and your individuals as well. Search for those up the top left hand corner here. And that is how to use forecasting in HubSpot CRM. I hope this video has clearly explained how to use forecasting in HubSpot CRM. If you do have any further questions, please drop me an email. My details are in the description below. Otherwise, thank you very much for watching and I'll see you shortly in the next video. Thank you, and goodbye.